What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. My name's Kristen. If you're new to this channel and don't know my name, that's my name. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the little subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I put out new videos every Saturday, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of them. So today I'm showing you how to make burrito bowls. This is like one of my favorite things in the world. We have this all the time. I meal prep everything kind of at the beginning of the week and then I just have it on hand and it's nice and easy to make. So I just got back from the gym and I am so hungry, like so hungry. So let's just get right into the video. Okay, so like I said, I like to kind of have everything prepped and ready at the beginning of the week. So when I want to have a burrito bowl, I can just like grab out all my Tupperwares and then build a burrito bowl. And it's really, really easy. You can heat up some of the stuff if you want it Heat it up. I usually just eat it cold. I just like like a cold kind of like a taco salad type dish. So I like mine cold, but if you want to heat up like the rice or the potatoes or anything like that, then you totally can. Okay. So the first thing that I always put in my burrito bowl is romaine lettuce. I like to fill up the bottom of the bowl with just some like shredded or chopped up romaine lettuce. So that's the first thing that's going to go in. I usually use like one head, one small head of organic romaine lettuce in the bottom of there, but use as much as you want. That's the thing about this is you can make this however you want. You can put in all of this stuff, none of it, I mean, you can make it with whatever you have, whatever you prefer, which is kind of like the fun thing about burrito bowls. However you like your burrito, whatever you want in your burrito, put in a bowl, boom, delicious, healthy food. It's kind of like Chipotle, but healthier. Like the rice isn't just like soaked in oil and neither are the veggies, everything's oil-free, really healthy. So it's kind of like a healthier version of Chipotle, which yes, please. <laughs> Okay, the next thing going in is some brown rice. I cooked this in my Instant Pot. I have a video on my channel on how to do this, so if you're interested, go check that out. I'll leave links for everything in the description below. The full recipe will be in the description below too, so if you are interested in that, open that description up. I have lots of fun stuff in there too, so if you've never clicked open more on that description, then do it because I've got some fun stuff in there for you. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is just add some brown rice over the top, and again, use however much you want. I make this different like every time, kind of depending on how hungry I am and my level of activity for the day and all of that. So I'm just gonna do a nice little healthy scoop of brown rice on there. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna add in are some black beans that I also cooked in my Instant Pot and I totally thought I had a video for these, but I don't. I have lots of other Instant Pot videos. I have like a pinto bean one and a black bean and brown rice together one, but I don't have just a black bean video, but I should do one soon. But you can also find how to cook them in an Instant Pot. Or you can totally use canned black beans if you want. It doesn't have to be made in the Instant Pot. You can make this as easy as you'd like. I just like cooking them in the Instant Pot because it saves so much money. Like they're so much cheaper and then you know like exactly what's going in there and it's less wasteful. So I like to cook my beans in the Instant Pot when I can, but I always have like black beans and other beans in the can on hand for like backup if I'm in a hurry or whatever. So, but cooking beans in the Instant Pot, you don't have to soak them overnight. So that's where it's at. Okay, the next thing going in is some corn. Mm, I love corn so much. This is just canned corn that I just rinsed and then put into a Tupperware for some meal prep. So definitely gonna pop some corn on there. It just gives it like that nice, like bright, freshness. Oh man, I love corn so much, especially in the summertime. Like, mm, okay. It already smells so good in here. <laughs> All right. This is like kind of like the star of the show. It's barbecue jackfruit with mushrooms. Mm, it's like a chili lime barbecue jackfruit. So it's like a Mexican style kind of jackfruit. So this is super similar to like pulled pork, um, kind of like pulled pork sandwiches or anything like that, you can use that as a substitute for. I have a video for this on my channel, so I will definitely link it below for you guys. This stuff is so good. I pretty much just made it the exact same way, except that this time I added mushrooms in. So there's mushrooms. So if you find the video and wanna make it the way that I made it, just add mushrooms in at the very end, like chopped mushrooms, and it kind of bulks it up and gives it some like nice heartier flavor. So mm, this stuff is so good. Like, oh my God. I could just eat this out of here. This would be really good like on little sliders with some cabbage and stuff too. So mm. and it's got such a good texture. It's like perfect texture, like shredded pig, which when you think about it, nobody really wants to be eating shredded pig flesh. So this is such a better option and so much better for you too. Okay, next thing going in are some baked potatoes that I also made in my Instant Pot. This was the video that came out last week and I was prepping the potatoes for like burrito bowl prep and so many of you guys were like, please show us how you make a burrito bowl. 
so that's why I'm doing this video for you guys this week. So these were also, like I said, prepped in the Instant Pot. So easy to make baked potatoes in the Instant Pot. Mmm. Love them, so easy. So I just eat these cold. I like cold potatoes a shit ton. But again, if you wanna like heat them up or if you wanna cook them a little bit less in the Instant Pot and then like roast them or cook them in your air fryer, get them kinda like crispy, you can totally do that too. Literally make this however you like it. If you try it like this and you're like, I don't like this cold, then heat up some of the stuff. If you try it heated up and you're not in love, just play around with it. Play around with the ingredients, play around with the flavors, and you will end up with something that you absolutely love. Tastes like you're eating a giant burrito, but it's so much healthier. So what I pretty much do is I take the baked potatoes that I made in the Instant Pot, and depending on how big they are, I usually take about half of one and cut it in half lengthwise, and then just cut it into little pieces. And you can take the skin off if you want, but I love the skin on the potatoes. It's full of lots of nutrients, so I try to keep those on when I can. And then I'll just put the other half of this baked potato back in the Tupperware, and the next time I'm ready for a burrito bowl, I have it ready. Okay, so now I just kinda put my potatoes around here. I'm super bad at food styling, so don't judge the final outcome of this, because yeah, I'm not the best at food styling. <laughs> But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to make it look kinda good. Okay, so now that my cold potatoes are on there, I'm gonna add a couple more things just to kinda like finish it off and then it'll be ready to eat. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna top this baby off with is some of this Herdez salsa. Oh my God, if you've never had this stuff before, it's my all time favorite. You gotta get this stuff in a can and it has to be hot. The stuff in the jar is not the same. So if you like salsa and you haven't tried this yet, this is so good, like I, Absolutely love this stuff. So I'm just gonna pop open a can of this and then I usually like to use a fork to get the salsa out of here Because it's kind of like a more watery salsa So just so that the bowl doesn't get like super super watery I just like to use a fork to kind of drain some of the liquid just put some of that salsa right on top of there Oh, I was totally gonna put avocado on this like I normally use avocado in my burrito bowls, but the avocado was like so brown and the other ones are so solid and like not ripe enough yet so I normally do avocado, but again, put whatever in it you like. Okay, now this is probably my favorite part of the whole burrito bowl. It's my sour cream recipe that I also have up on my channel. Mm, it's so good, it's cashew based, and this time to kind of make it a little bit lighter, I added in a whole peeled zucchini, like a really small one, into the blender, and it kind of just like gives it like a nice brightness, it gives it some more bulk, so you're not just eating straight cashews so you can kind of eat more of it and you're getting more nutrients it did kind of make it more watery than normal normally it's definitely thicker than this but adding the zucchini i think because it's like a watery vegetable made it a little thinner than normal which i'm not mad about but the normal recipe that i have on my channel for sour cream is like a nice thick sour cream but if you want to try to make it lighter you can totally add like a zucchini and maybe reduce the water a little bit and then i also added in some cilantro some like chopped fresh cilantro and some lime juice like the juice of half of a lime so it's like a cilantro lime sour cream so good like so good if you've never tried cashew sour cream amazing if you have a nut allergy you can use sunflower seeds instead so there are options you can do like a combo of the bowl add a new zucchini like i said to kind of make it a little bit lighter amazing this stuff makes this whole bowl what it is when i don't have the sour cream for my burrito bowl like it's not the same so i'm just gonna take some of this sour cream and i'm just gonna drizzle her on there and try to make it look like semi photographable is that even a word? <laughs> so yeah, I just like to do a nice little drizzle of that on there. Okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna add is just like a little bit of cilantro on top, mostly for decoration, because it's already in the barbecue jackfruit and the sour cream. So I just like to put a little on top for some like little decoration, totally optional. Can Kristen actually make food look good? That is the question, not 100% 100 sure on what the answer is gonna be on that. <sighs> I don't know. I'm so bad at food styling, you guys. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. And the very last thing I'm gonna add is just some like freshly ground black pepper. And I just, I tried it once on my burrito bowl and I fucking loved it. So just a little bit of black pepper on there. So that's it. That's everything that's in my favorite little burrito bowl. I've been meaning to share this video with you guys for a hot minute. I made this in some what I eat in a day videos before, which is why I haven't done like a separate recipe video yet but now you have it. Now you know exactly what goes in my burrito bowl because I post about this all the time on my Instagram because I, I literally eat this almost weekly in the summer. It's just such nice stuff to prep and have on hand and it's just filling and hits all your macros. You have nice healthy fats, carbs, protein. So it's just a nice healthy balanced meal and it tastes so good. So let's try it. Oh shit, I forgot I was gonna add 
some hot sauce. So this time I'm gonna add in some Cholula. I also like to use the like Chipotle flavored Tabasco or Sriracha, but I'm just gonna do a little bit of Cholula on here just cause I love me some hot, I love spicy food. So pop some of that on there. And then what I usually do is just kind of like mix all of this up and make like a taco salad type thing. Oh, another really good thing that you can do is crumble up like tortilla chips and put those on top and make it even more like taco salad-y. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. So yeah, okay, now that the hot sauce is on there, let's try this. Okay, let's try to get a bite with everything. Potato, sour cream, barbecue jackfruit, rice, lettuce, corn, beans. Oh my God, There's so much good stuff in here. Mmm, mmm. That barbecue jackfruit is like on another level. That's like the best batch of it I've made too, because that is so good. Like the potatoes with the sour cream is such a good combo. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I love cold potatoes too. I don't know if it's like an Idaho thing. Do you like cold potatoes? Let me know. <laughs> yeah, this is so good. Perfect to just like make and bring with you to work or to school or to just like prep. You can like prep these bowls ahead of time so you don't have to do all that work and put them together right then. You can kind of like prep it ahead of time and make like individual containers like this and then maybe just add the sour cream and the salsa right before you serve it. It like doesn't taste healthy. It tastes like I'm eating something so like decadent and kind of like sinful, but like I said, there's no oil in this. It's super healthy, whole foods, plant-based, gluten-free. Mm. It's like literally just one of my favorite things in the entire world. And now you guys know how to make it so you can make it because you totally should. <laughs> it is so good. Everything, like all the components just go so well together. Yeah, I'm super into it. Mm -hmm. I can't stop. I don't want to stop. I'm so good. <gasps> Why is that so good? It's like tastes better than normal. I don't know. That is so good. <laughs> okay, one more bite. No. Okay, no, I should stop. <laughs> okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, if you've made this before, let me know how you make your burrito bowls or if you have any suggestions or anything like that. I love connecting with you guys in the comments. So if you have any suggestions for me or any comments or anything, drop them down below. And like I said earlier, make sure to click that open more on the description box and you'll find the full recipe for this, plus lots of other links and stuff like that. So yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll just catch you guys in... I was gonna say the next episode of the How to Vegan podcast, but that's my podcast, not this video. So yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys liked this one and I'll just see you guys in my next vid. Peace out.